Hi everybody. As today is World Mental Health Day, or we're celebrating it at Summersford, we decided that we'd read some extra books for you today so your teachers could take five minutes to have a bit of a rest. I found this book and I thought that I'd read you the first chapter and if we like it, I'll read other chapters moving forward again to give your teacher a break and give you something to listen to. Let's see what we think of this book. It's called Become a Leader Like Michelle Obama and it's written by Caroline Moss and illustrated by Sinem Urkas. gone too far here we go chapter one happy birthday michelle there she is michelle lavorn robinson's eyes fluttered open on the morning of january 17th she had been counting down the days to turning eight years old for what seemed like a really really long time and it was finally here she jumped out of bed so excited to look in the mirror and see if she looked any different to the day before. She examined her face very thoroughly, like a detective on the case, and determined that yes, she definitely did look older than she did just 24 hours earlier when she was only seven years old. Like she used to do every day, Michelle arranged her stuffed animals around her bed. They all seemed to be smiling at her. She studied her Barbie dolls. They were all impeccably dressed and groomed. As a child, Michelle cared very much about her few personal possessions. Her dolls were her friends. Michelle could hear voices coming from the rest of the house, so she threw on her school clothes, brushed her teeth and dragged out her big winter coat. It was January in Chicago, after all, to go and greet her family. Michelle lived with a lot of people. There was her mum, Marion, her dad, Fraser, and her older brother, Craig. They shared a tiny space in the upstairs of a small bungalow-style house with other relatives who lived in the downstairs part of the house. Sometimes it felt really crowded because it was hard to get privacy, but on days like her birthday, she was grateful to be so close to her family, whom she loved so much. There was always someone else around and someone to talk to. Where's Aunt Robbie? Michelle said breathlessly as her mother handed her a piece of buttered toast with scrambled eggs. Well, happy birthday to you too, Miss Michelle, Marion Robinson laughed, giving her daughter a big smooch on the forehead, which Michelle promptly wiped off with her forearm. I've seen you guys do that at the school gate. Her eyes darted around the room, looking and listening for signs of Aunt Robbie. Is there a birthday girl here? There she was. Michelle's favourite aunt. Wearing her eyeglasses on a chain around her neck like a big glamorous necklace and singing the happy birthday song like it was an operetta. Aunt Robbie was a talented pianist and opera singer and sometimes taught Michelle lessons. She was a little scary but only because she was so serious and important. Michelle was not scared of Aunt Robbie, but when Aunt Robbie was around, Michelle knew she was in the presence of a very big deal. It's me! It's me! Michelle exclaimed. Aunt Robbie smiled at her niece, then walked into her area of the house where her beloved piano sat. Can I play piano today? Michelle peeked her head in and asked Aunt Robbie, since it's my eighth birthday. May I play the piano today? Aunt Robbie corrected her and scooted over on the piano stool to make room. Michelle stared at the keys, suddenly unsure of where to start. She felt her palms begin to sweat. Was it too late to change her mind? Then Aunt Robbie wordlessly leaned over her and tapped the key right in the middle of them all, the middle C. Michelle began to play a song. Michelle was never destined to become a pianist, but her family values and sense of community were built in her hometown of Chicago. These values would inspire her to go on and change communities across the USA and beyond. The only limit to reach the height of your achievements 
is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. So that was the first chapter. I hope you liked it and if you did, I'll read a little bit more so you can find out more about Michelle Obama. Have a lovely day everybody.